Hey guys, it's Andrew of CSPremium.net, and today I'm going to show you a basic overview of a great HTML ed editor called PHP Designer. Okay, first to get this, you're going to want to type in PHP Designer on Google. It should be the first link that comes up, so just click that. From there, when this loads, you're just going to want to click the link in the site menu that says downloads okay now you're gonna look right over here and click free download I'm actually not going to do it right now because I already have it installed but it's pretty self-explanatory like any other program you've ever downloaded as soon as you run it you'll just follow the install instructions and it should go fine okay now as soon as you open it this is what you it should look like see we have uh, recent files you could open uh, projects you're currently working on I don't have any um, and you'll see here there's tons of different languages you could choose from uh, there's PHP, HTML, CSS, Smarty, XML, JavaScript, Visual Basic a whole bunch of different MySQL languages Perl, Java, C Sharp, Python, Ruby on Rails, and then there's no syntax, which is just normal text, like if you're just taking notes or writing something. I'm just going to go ahead and open up a new HTML document. This will open up in a second. Oh, and by the way, this is not a free program. You actually only get a 21 day free trial, but I did spend I think 30 or 35 bucks on a uh, license. Okay, so as soon as you open up, you'll see that it brings up a basic HTML page with the doc type, HTML, head, body, etc. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is the syntax highlighting, which you can already see. Syntax highlighting is the highlighting of colors for certain tags and certain parts of tags. It's really helpful on your eyes and when you're editing it, editing it, editing your code, I mean, and it'll help you see what you're looking for faster. The next thing I want to show you is the numbers on the left. This is really handy when you're editing PHP and you get an error and you have to find the number line. You can just look right over here and you'll see it easily. So this, that's some basic stuff. Um, now I'll get into some keyboard shortcuts. For instance, if I wanted to make a certain span of text bold, I would do this. Now highlight what you want bold. And now you're going to click Control and B, and it'll wrap it in bold tags. I know I spelled that wrong, but it doesn't really matter. So then you can go ahead and save this. file save save as sorry again this is going slow because I'm getting lagged by the screen recorder I'm gonna go ahead and save this as test.html on my localhost and I may make a video on how to install localhost sooner sooner or later okay so now let's open up Firefox and localhost I'll just open up this file real quick. And you'll see that the part that we highlighted is bold now. Okay, now that's basic as well. Let's get into more s advanced stuff. This is a really handy tool that I use quite often actually. It's called the table editor. It's basically it basically generates codes for you instead of typing out all the table attributes like you normally have to you could just enter in all the details here and it'll do it for you okay so columns let's just say two rows two now we could go into properties with I don't know 500 uh, let's just set a background color anything how about that that's fine okay so that's enough editing you could also go to advanced and set your own CSS but for this purpose I'm not going to do it 
Okay. Now, you have to enter in the info you want in your table. Just type random letters. Now I'll save and refresh for you. And you can see, easy as that, it just generated a table for you. So that's something that can usually take a few minutes, and we did it in about 30 seconds. Okay, now let's get on to other things. A feature that I really like, it's possibly my favorite in this, is the autocomplete for the CSS. I'll show you what I mean. I have some CSS code that I just copied before, and I'll paste it in. Nothing really, just some samples. So now I'll type in now a list of all the possible divs that I have uh, declared in my CSS shows up and I can just enter whichever one I want. Let's just go with this one. Refresh. Voila. And perfect. So yeah, this is just a basic overview of PHP Designer. For more advanced users, there's something called the Project Manager, which I use, and you could organize your files for different projects if you're working on more than one. And yeah, it's probably one of the best HTML editors on the market. There's also Adobe Dreamweaver, but that's really expensive. And for Mac, there's Coda and CSS edit and a lot more. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it helped you. Uh, please subscribe, leave comments, and check out our website. Thanks.